Hey, what's up? I just want to start off by saying thanks to everybody who voted for sausage rolls for this week's appetizer because I think it's my favorite puff pastry based dish. It's just so good. It's bite sized, it's medium, you can dip it with anything. Just hit subscribe, hit that bell icon, and let's start making the mince for the rolls. So, here I got some chopped up bacon. Add that to a cold pan and then turn up the heat. And we just saute our onions and garlic in the same mixture here with this bacon fat. We incorporate that awesome flavor in there. There's no need for any extra olive oil or butter here. So you can see now. It's not all the way golden brown, but it's like getting there. It's getting crispy, it's getting darker. Before it does get darker, let's add the rest. Some garlic and onions. Let's give that all a really good toss. We'll cook this out until the bacon is crispy and the onions have toned soft as well. And after a quick few minutes, this is what you'll get. And just check this out. This is nice sauteed onion with bits of crispy bacon all inside, all around it. And you can just imagine the kinds of flavors that are living in here. Can you smell that? Okay, we'll just set that aside, let it cool down. And this is one of our main elements in the actual mince we're gonna make. And I'm gonna make this with pork. Now you can make this with your favorite meat, but traditionally it's made with pork. Just transfer it all into a large enough bowl for you to mix it comfortably. Then add in one egg, some chopped parsley. And once your onion and bacon mixture has cooled down, add that in as well. So we'll start mixing it, but let's also season this with some salt and pepper. Add a nice amount of salt, because this is about a pound of meat. Some pepper, and then just mix this all really well. Now, one tip that you can follow if you are not comfortable with seasoning meat, if you're not sure how much to actually add, and what you can do is take a tiny bit of that sausage and cook it and taste it and then you can just adjust and add more or less as you need and then cook it again to just check for your seasoning. So now let's have a look at our puff pastry. Now there's no big deal with defrosting it. Just let it stay in the fridge for like a couple of hours and then just defrost. And you want to be sure that when you do take it out of the fridge, you use it quickly because your hand temperature, your body temperature is enough to start melting that pastry, so just act quick. So my baking sheet is ready with a bit of parchment paper for baking. And usually it'll come with some parchment paper, so just use that and then gently just roll it out. And if it's defrosted, it should just come out really easily. Just separate this, set this aside. Or your work surface, wherever you're working, just dust it with flour first. I put this back on top, you have a nice dry surface. Then with a sharp knife, just cut the pastry with the paper down the middle and then taking about a tablespoon of the mince at a time, just have a nice good amount of mince right down the middle for your actual filling. Now here I just have one egg. You wanna take that and then brush it along the edges of the pastry. That's gonna kind of help create a bit of a seam and a seal. And then put this around the border of the pastry. And then grab it. And you have the flour to prevent the dough from getting sticky. You can easily make a nice roll. Just like that, go all the way. There you go. Have it seam side down. 
And now let's just chill this before we handle it any further. Now after you've let it chill, this will be much easier to now handle and you won't have soft pastry. And you can go two ways here. You can leave it long like this and cut it later. Or you can just cut them into smaller pieces and have bite-sized pieces ready from the oven. The only thing that I would recommend is if you do want it bite-sized, don't cut it all the way because as it bakes, the juices will just go to waste on the baking sheet. So this is what you should do. Grab a serrated knife. That's actually great for cutting pastry like this. Discover your thickness. Let's say you want it this thick or this thick. It doesn't matter, just start from the middle. One slit on the pastry. Then go halfway down, another slit here, and another slit here. Just like that, just cut the top of the pastry. My oven is heating at 400 Fahrenheit, and I'm gonna preheat my air fryer at 350 Fahrenheit. Now we just give it a final brush with our egg wash, and that is what kind of helps give the pastry its final golden brown color that we all like. This one I'm gonna leave whole. And actually, this is too long to fit in my air fryer, so I'm gonna cut it down the middle so that I can like kind of stack it next to each other. So for my air fryer, I'm gonna put it right in there. And here's my oven baked one. It's gonna make one, and I'm gonna leave this one for later. And now we'll just cook out these sausage rolls until they look nice and rich golden brown. And just like that, in about 20 minutes, you get this beautiful golden brown crisp exterior for the air fryer sausage roll. And at about the same time, about 20 minutes, that's what you have in the oven. And with any puff pastry dish that you bake, you have to make sure you let it cool down slightly because that helps to fluff up that puff pastry. And like you can see on the air fryer ones, the grooves we cut earlier, it kind of just like got baked into it. So now you know exactly what to cut. All the juices are intact and just grab a serrated knife and cut through, cut through. It's like making sushi, but it's meat and puff pastry. And look at that. And on here, we have both the oven baked and the air fryer ones, and they both look awesome. With some marinara sauce, yum. I, I tasted both and I just can't decide which one I like more. So both must be super good. But let me know your opinions. Again, thank you for getting me to 5,000 subscribers. That just seems insane coming from like a couple of hundreds just a few years ago. So thanks again. See you in the next one. Hit subscribe, hit the bell icon.